So when is exercise more likely to kill you? And I'm not referring to the activity itself here, for those who like rock climbing or free diving and bull riding, but actually talking about the frequency itself in which you exercise. And an amazing study of over 1.1 million women in the UK surveyed for over nine years, they looked at frequency of exercise, its intensity and outcomes when it came to cardiovascular health. And what they found was amazing. It showed that unsurprisingly, comparing sedentary women who rarely if ever work out compared to those who work out once, twice, three, four, five, six times a week, there was an unsurprising reduction in the risk of coronary artery disease, strokes, and even venous thromboemboli, like clots on the lungs. However, when it graduated to working out daily, whether this was strenuous or not, seemed to lose that benefit. But it shows that those working strenuously daily without rest were not getting as much of the benefit in terms of their cardiovascular health as those working moderately a few times a week. And so really, it highlights the importance of scheduling in a rest day. 